Hey YouTube, it's me Keyblade Master here with part two of the Final Fantasy IV After Years playthrough. Today we're going to finish the Adamant Cave, and if you're wondering why this scene looks familiar, it's because this is the um, two scenes that appeared at the ending to the last part. And what happened was I recorded up to a point, but when I went back to try and record it, there was a mishap with the recording, and I had to start back all over from the beginning of the game because one, when I did the recording, it messed it. Uh, my Dazzle screen shut off because I was downloading Pamela, so I freaked out thinking that it had stopped recording from the TV, but I found out after I'd stopped that it in fact had recorded, but the video uh, just didn't appear on the recording, so I was really disappointed about that, so I went through and tried to continue again, but the Dazzle uh, program froze right after I finished, so I had to completely redo it, and um, yeah, it made things really difficult, but I'm back again with this, so, uh, yeah. Now, if, if you remember what I said last time, uh, I took off Biggs and Wedge's equipment, and, uh, I didn't spend too much time actually trying to level, uh, Seedor up right now with Biggs and Wedge, because, um, even though Biggs and Wedge do a ton of damage and are good characters, you know, based off Star Wars characters and all, um, the problem is, is that they're, they're level 15 and Seedor's only level 1, or 2 now, and, they soak up the XP, per, and he only gets about 37. Whereas when he's alone in just a few min, in like a minute, I forgot the treasure chest. Uh, <laughs> I, I was I'm rushing through this for time, and I, and I completely forgot about that chest. So uh, I managed to get it. Uh, see, like right here, the Seedor doesn't even get a turn to attack. I mean, how unfair is that for him? That he just gets completely outclassed by these guys right now. Which is part of the reason why I don't really like Theodore. Uh, he, he's just too weak in the beginning. Uh, it's all yours from here. Don't worry, Princess. I remember you have the. Yeah, when I was, I was really scrolling through this really fast so I could um get done with this part because of all the uh, technical difficulties. So I didn't stop to do the uh, lines, which is bad, I know. But I uh, I think I slowed down up ahead. I had to, you know, with all these takes, I had problems. So, yeah, as you can see now, we have to go alone with Theodore, and at first, I thought this was going to be really bad, but it's really easy. Like, disappointingly easy, actually. Uh, because, for some reason, I, th I don't know why, but his speed seems to just increase when Biggs and Wedge are gone. I think it may just be because his that's the speed his normally is, and then Biggs and Wedges have faster ones, so when you compare it, it looks slower. I don't know. I, I think that might be the reason. But, uh, I got no clue. Yeah, see, th the only problem with this part is that it's because, um, his attack is decreased, it's gonna take one hit for the goblins, but it's gonna take pretty much two hits for everything else. But it's so easy because of the, uh, items you get, and, oh, and key with the, uh, items and levels, like the larva here, makes it so easier. And I decided stupidly, hey, a bomb fragment would work, and it didn't kill him instead. I lost all this magic. Yeah. Stupid choice on my part, but made it easier, I guess. You know, I would think that if in in game logic, if he suddenly ran out of magic and they kept doing that, wouldn't that just kill Seador because they're still draining him? I don't know. I guess I'm looking at it too seriously. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of stuff to say. I, I know I sound bored or something. It's just uh, with all the problems I had, I wasn't very happy. But, um, yeah, I'm glad Cedar's getting lots of levels up, which is a really good thing, because he'll need to be at least level 9 to, f to beat the boss easy. He it doesn't really matter what level he is, I mean, he's probably going to hit 10 to get the boss of this, uh, dungeon, and eye drops, yeah, you're not going to face any real status effects in here, so, uh, really no need to worry. But, the, uh, sword rats are the guys that you want to watch out for, because if you haven't, um, gotten his strength up or gave him a new weapon, he's not going to kill him in one hit. Instead, he's just going to uh, either miss, or he's just going to only do about 20. So, yeah, pretty much at this point, if he gets to round level 5, he's going to one-hit everything in this dungeon, save for the boss, which is good because he really needs the levels. Yeah, he's level 7. I, I I don't know why I didn't notice that, but Bronze Hourglass, yeah. Probably not going to use much of the items except for the Spider Silk because the Spider Silk is one of the best items in the game. Which slow, it auto slows um, enemies down, and it works on everyone. It works on the final boss for God's sakes. I mean, 
Final Fantasy IV has the best item usage in the series. I mean, come on. You can get items that slow down the final boss. In other games, the boss won't even be slowed down even if you slow. Th that's one thing I like about Final Fantasy IV. The items are actually worth using. Except for most of the, ma like the magic item uh, tone things. They're really weak. I don't see the point of them. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. For a for second there, I thought it was a um, a uh, monster in a chest, but then I remembered. I was like, wait a minute, I didn't open that chest. <laughs> what am I What am I doing? My mind's playing tricks on me. Uh, yeah, this, this part's really boring, honestly. This is just... I, I think this is why I don't like Theodore's chapter, or the main chapter at first, because it's just, it's boring. I mean, there's nothing happening. It's just you continuously killing guys. I mean, I know this is oh, a high potion. That's good. And a 10. That's even better. Yeah, I mean, look at the enemy spawn rate. This is pretty ridiculous. I mean, I'm trying to think of another time. Um, Final Fantasy 2, I think, had the worst spawns for enemies. I mean, if you walk into certain rooms, every step is literally a battle, which is ridiculous. I mean, come on. How am I supposed to uh, fight and leave at the same time? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of stuff. Arctic Wind. Again, all these useless items, and I have some weird uh, fetish with a... <laughs> it's, it, every time I get an item or something, I always change my inventory. And th The Eyewing Moths are the best guys to kill because they provide the most experience. And I really wish they had actually made it where the um, Eyewing Moths are in um, more in the early dungeon for this. Because if there was a full group of them, I imagine I would have gotten a ton of experience. I mean, even though he one-hits him, it's 10 damage. It's, 10 damage is still kind of not good, considering how much HP he has, but... I mean, see, look, 246 experience points. That's really good for right now, especially how low he is. And, and I always forget about these um, trap doors and the items and stuff like that. And see, it gives you iron gloves, but since I stole them from uh, Biggs, I think... I think it was Biggs. I took him from Biggs. He doesn't... Um, see, it already has him. And that's one thing I, I need, I'm need. i going to do with a bunch of the characters, is that if I have temporary characters, I'm going to take off the equipment for them and give it to the uh, character of the chapter. Because it happens a lot in this. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, it happens several times in this one, several times in Rydia's, and actually, it happens in almost every chapter, save for the final one. Which is kind of disappointing, and I'm going to use a save point here. Uh, <laughs> organized fit. Now what I did was I used a tent because um, if you use a tent and Theodore is about level nine, the next battle becomes just so easy. It's I don't even really consider this a boss in full honesty. This is just more of a uh, a uh, random enemy that's just stronger. Exclamation point! Solid snake. Oh, wrong thing. The knight's emblem. Ah, monster! No, it's just a sandworm. See, this is I. You know, if this is supposed to be a boss battle, why is it that the boss only attacks like three times? I mean, come on. This is, this is, ow, that hurt. Okay, 58 damage does hurt, I'll give him that. But I do 70 damage and I attack faster. I actually did think of using a um, hourglass on this guy, but I was like, you know what, it's just going to be a waste. <laughs> 48 damage, come on, man, that's 10 weaker than the last hit. Come on, you can do better than that. Give me something good. Oh, come on, hit me! <laughs> of course, everyone's gonna get that reference. Uh, yes. What the? Whirlwind? What? What? Come on, Whirlwind! Theodore, are you hurt? No, wrong voice. S stay back, please. Exclamation point! This is my battle to fight. You don't have to push yourself so hard. My father and mother have nothing to do with this. I... I... I'll get through this by myself. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Come on, what are you gonna do? You have one HP. Wait, latent power's been awakened. Oh, I see what you did, Dar. Oh, ho ho ho. Clever Square Enix. And see why I did that? See? Easy. 22 gil. Ooh, 500 experience. That's even better. Yes. That's even Acquired Knight's Emblem. Yay! Was it worth it? No. Theodore's learned Awakening. Or Awaken. Prince Theodore. Wedge. Cura.
Wait. Sin since when could they use magic outside of it? I never got that. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Uh, just scrolling too through fast. You're full-fledged knight now. We're leaving. Our work is done. <laughs> Biggs is such a... <laughs> Come on, Biggs. You should be happy he just did that. You're, this is... Troll. <laughs> Biggs is a troll. <laughs> Biggs is a troll and Wedge is an over-obsessed fanboy. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I didn't notice that in part one. That That's funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Back to this stuff again. This is the easy stuff because now Seedor can actually attack when, um, they're during a turn now. There we go. See see what I mean? Seedor just can't get very much experience from these guys, from these guys when he's, um, with them. Which is kind of disappointing because it really, um does kind of irritate me that they have these characters doing that. Uh, you know, I, I just noticed I haven't used Biggs and, or Wedge's magic. I, I can't believe I just noticed that. I really should be using um, Biggs's magic because he has uh, he has um, the basic spells, but I think he I think he has one raw spell. I'm tempted to say Fyra because Fyra tends to be the strongest um, use magic in the game. I'll I'll just take a look the uh, next battle where I have tons of guys like this because I don't want to waste his magic on something where I've already cut down three of the four guys. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really trying to think of stuff to say. Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, he has access to Fyra. But I'm gonna use Fyra just because I don't want to waste his magic. And I'm gonna see... Yeah, 34 damage. That's perfect to use here because it just essentially still kills him in one hit. And I got... Ooh, 10 to the potion. Yeah, <laughs> my finish again. Ah. Ugh. I should probably stop having um, Wedge attack if I'm just gonna use Fire. No point in doing it. Uh, poor Theodore, he's not getting any kills. The troll and the fanboy are, ste are stealing his kills. Oh, I, I, there's. Oh, I forgot about that chest. Phoenix down. Well, I, I guess it was worth it. Alright, I'm gonna save again. There's no real point in uh, over worrying about the area, but I still prefer to uh, save. Uh, yeah. if, if you guys want to know something, I'm playing on the. Uh, using the. Uh, it. The uh, Wii's uh, classic controller. So the jerkiness is because I'm using the um, actual analog stick and I'm holding the B button. So if I miss something, it's because I'm running too fast and I and I failed to notice it. I know it sounds stupid, but the um, classic controller is the easy is to me the easier one because if I hold it on the side, I always mess the buttons up. I don't, I don't know why. I just I always do. Yeah. God, th this is a long... For beginning dungeon, this is really irritatingly long. It's just going through the same places. Uh, Captain Biggs? Thank you for everything. <laughs> Captain Biggs. I expect nothing less from you, Princess. Huh? We must hurry to the airship. We'll get you... Uh... <laughs> Biggs has left the party. The troll's gone! The troll under the bridge is gone! Uh, how are we hurting on time? Ooh, uh, gonna have to end it here. Uh, check out part three, where we continue and head back to Baron and see Cecil.